Welcome to the start of my Let's Play for Mystic Dawn. Darn, it's gonna be a late night. I got work early in the morning, too. No, send me in, coach. Send me into yet another probably rather generic RPG. With a title obviously meant to reference um, Mystic Quest from the Final Fantasy series. Which honestly wasn't a Final Fantasy game, it was just um, modified into one. Because Western players don't like really hard games, according to Japan. Um, I suppose you could argue that's a bit racist. I don't know if some would agree if it's true or not, though I'd like to know where the sound disappeared to for now. I had music on the title screen, all of a sudden it's just dead silent. Like, there's just dead air for no apparent reason. Uh, where's the king at? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if you could do that. I mean, if he's fearsome, he's probably really powerful, I assume. Yeah, a strong jaw, huh? Yeah, I can take a hit. Hmm. Yeah, they probably do grow restless. They want to feast, man. Hmm. Much more pressing matters. Forgive my crudeness, but is a commemorative feast of our people's oration from the underlings so urgent? Hmm. Ever darker, huh? That sucks. Death definitely is on the horizon if the skies are getting darker. Or a storm. Either or. Or a storm that will cause death. Maybe we should go look at the top of the tower. Hopefully guardsmen know something, you know, useful. Beyond, you know, ominous signs of the skies are darkening. Hmm. Well, I'm on a task from the king, so get out of my way. Or I'll have to pull my sword out. At least I assume I have a sword. Yep, get a sword. Standard hero weapon. Sword. <laughs> It's almost always a sword, isn't it, for your main character, I swear. I don't know. I guess people just take swords as a really cool weapon. That's why people like lightsabers so much, right? It's basically a laser sword. <laughs> Though, obviously, a lightsaber could not technically work. Though, it always bugs me that you have these stage areas within these games that are full of books, but there's no eventing on the books, like, of various titles or, like, history or other things, like, developing the past of their world or whatever, showing how events transpired and how current kingdoms and setups are the way they are, you know, like useless background information helps do world building for you. Obviously you shouldn't get too caught up into it that you lose track of everything else, but it can be helpful. At least it makes it look like you care about your game at least a bit more. But yeah, part of the gods, how did he burn up the stone so much? Was he spitting like molten fireballs out of his mouth too? Ugh, damn you! Stop destroying my home! Seriously! I would say it, but I prefer not to swear on this channel too much, lest I get myself in trouble. Oh look! Oh yeah, I'm still alive, all right. But that darn dragon's not gonna be when I get my hands on him. Yep. You're mine. Yeah, that probably was foolish. But I'm gonna take on a dragon. I really should bring along a whole team of adventurers with me. It's much easier taking on a dragon when you team up with them. See if you can go the distance. <laughs> oh great, we're falling from the ground. A sky. Falling from the ground. <laughs> Jeez, I really should go to bed. Uh <sighs> I'm not saying this is a bad quote from the Bible, I'm just going to have to ask now, why is it here, really? What purpose does it serve? Is it in reference to the developer? Is it in reference to the main character? What's its significance in the context of this game? Um, and is that meant to imply how long the game was in development, or are we literally saying our character's been falling for like a year? Like, how high up was this castle in the sky if I've been falling for that long? I imagine no matter how um, physical reality works in this game, falling for that long from that height would definitely cause you to go splat, and your body would probably be busted in so many ways that you'd be beyond repair. You'd probably just be dead as soon as you hit the ground. I don't care what you landed on. Even if it was just water, you'd be dead. Um, just from the sheer impact alone. Not to mention, I think we are falling head first, weren't we? So... We'd be putting all the impact of wherever we land on our neck and head, so we'd probably crack our skull open and have um, brain goo everywhere. 
<sighs> but since this is an RPG, we can survive falls of um, insane heights that would kill a normal person. Yeah, I'll be leaving immediately. Ah, another Bible reference, huh? Uh, <laughs> I'm surprised you even bothered. I mean, I assume I'd be dead if I fell from that kind of height. Hmm. Mm, my name? Ah, I'm suffering from amnesia. That's like RPG trope number one, man. Seriously, it pops up in RPGs all the time. What's wrong with you? I have amnesia. Hmm. It's a rather odd name. You're not from around here, are you, Lobo? No, I live in a kingdom in the sky. Hmm. Are you sure you're alright? Because that sounded crazy. Absolutely. Why? No reason. I think I'll go sit on the side. I'm dealing with obvious crazy person. Please don't stab me. Um, but I think I'll let you get some fresh air. Maybe it'll help clear up the insanity. <laughs> oh, is that a turtle? Yep, it's a turtle. Is it named Leonardo? Flying fish? Oh... Uh, whatever. Making fun of my memory now, huh? Hmm. Oh, sure, I was right here when it happened. Just making small talk with a man who lives near the meeting point of both halves of the present that makes up our shimmering lake. I looked up and saw something falling. You made a beautiful swan dive into the lake. It was spectacular. I'm surprised I didn't hit the bottom right then there. Hesitated? I think you mean you can't swim. <laughs> a fisherman that can't swim, that's pretty messed up. Was it a dragon? Oh, great. Omens of the end of the world. That's just what we needed. And are the fish frozen? Yep. A sky kingdom. I'm gonna get revenge, of course. I know. I have no home left. Only the fires of revenge remain. Hmm. Yeah, don't mention it. Just be careful out there. Hmm. That's a small dream. What they say? Teach a man how to fish, and he can feed himself for a lifetime. <sighs> That's a weird, um, turn the conversation. Really weird. Um, no inns or item shops or anything here. Oh, no traveling on overworld? That's messed up. Hmm. Ah, it's locked for to prevent us heroes from breaching in and stealing their stuff. <sighs> These people know how to secure themselves from heroes. It's terrible. How am I supposed to steal stuff from people if they lock their doors? Oh, 
Oh, great, we're suffering from PSTD as well. And then smashes their dragon statue. Well, that's not gonna get us in trouble or anything, right? I hope that wasn't a statue to their dragon god or something. Hmm. <sighs> but. Great. Well, we're not going to try and resist arrest. Can't make it much worse, can we? Hmm. What's next? Dulce shows up and torches the town? This is pretty boring. Can't even talk to the other prisoners. Hmm. <laughs> this is the floor to my back. I shouldn't dream about falling to my doom. Uh, I guess he's got a point. What? A jailbreak? So the cell's over. Who's us? Move it, punk. We're part of the resistance. Yeah, I said piss off. I have no respect for the law. I'm a thief, after all. Watch it. <laughs> a tall pickaxe? Curses. I didn't think a doll pickaxe could ever break through the wall. Yeah, before we cut out. Ah, <laughs> oh, great, we got recruited into a thieves guild. Can we just bust down the other wall real quick? What? <laughs> Your supervision? Jeez. <laughs> yep, my bare hands. No, actually, get to work. Or I'll bust ya. You know. Are you just, are they just trying to ask me to put my sword in them? Well, it's got a point. Now I can't steal their stuff, at least. Hmm. A brothel, eh? Hmm. Color? <laughs> well, there's a pub. Okay, where are we going? Mm. A dwarven stronghold, huh? Fabled wealth, eh? How can all these plans is beyond me? I mean, I never would have thought of that. 
No, oh, you're getting it. You realize I was being sarcastic, you idiot. <sighs> hmm. Should I be? Hmm. Living. Like for some reason, they belong here. So like they've been seen lumber, bricks, hammers, nails, more, you name it, lifted from their homes and taken here. Hmm. Maybe. <sighs> I think it's a bunch of hooey, but everyone knows about it, huh? I'm sure a ghost will show up at some point. Okay. Oh, look, a spirit, maybe. Ah, uh, he'll probably get up later and attack us. It's probably a zombie. Oh, look, a castle. Ah, uh, nothing. Hmm, what kind of place is this? I haven't even run into any enemies yet. Oh, well, another statue. Ah, the restless dead are waiting for us, huh? Ooh, a barrier. Well, they know we're here now. We must have crossed a ward. Wait a tick. Where's Barry? Somewhere over here, huh? <sighs> yeah, let's go look for Barry. Holy shit! Yeah, he's dead. The ghost. Oh, so much for our teammates. Nah, whatever. Ooh, a chest. Was there actually anything useful in it? I don't think Johnny's gonna be living much longer. He doesn't even have a face item. The menu, so he's obviously gonna die. Hmm. Maybe. We really aren't. You can't really kill a ghost. Kill us, obviously. And he died. Yeah, I'm a hero. Ah, this is the remnants of the people of the sky, huh?
He'll find you. Great. Oh, great. Okay. Man. Ow. This sucks. I guess. <sighs> if only barely. Well, at least the Shadow Lord's dead. Damn, was that battle costly? Yeah, why not? Yeah, the doors know something. Sure, why not? You know anything? Hmm. I don't look that much taller than him. Um. Obviously. Lock the door. Brilliant. Well, this might be the king's place. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Why I've come here? I already said. Also, has burned down our kingdom. We seek revenge. Hmm. <laughs> yes. Yep. Hmm. Well, good luck with that. Hmm. <sighs> One true hero, huh? No, not really. But could be interesting. Okay, foreign company. Hmm. <laughs> Great. So we're being sent into yet another dangerous mission, huh? Yeah, figures. Just duck through it. Yes. Where's your standard shop at this point? I swear. Mm. 
Um, yeah, I can enter here, I guess. Um. Half dwarf, huh? Crater goddess? Okay, that's nice enough, I suppose. Hmm. Man, I don't even know where to go now. Like, is it through here somewhere? Was it through this place? Or is it in here somewhere? Okay, the cave. Yep. Yep, now you're gonna run right into me, though. Yep, every man for himself. Hmm. You can't really pull it off while you can talk, you know? Okay. Great. Down for Atlanta is super attack at least. Yes, yes he did. I wish there were some random encounters or something in this game, because I could really use the experience. And the money, because let's face it, I'm pretty darn broke, and I haven't seen a weapons or items shop yet. And I'm burning through most of my items already. <sighs> this is why being able to grind helps so much. Is there a free place to stay around here? Well, I guess I can report back on that job, but it looks like I'm locked out of all the places to actually talk to anyone. Probably for the best, I won't have to owe a bunch of thieves favors, but still. <sighs> sure, why not? What was that one chest we didn't go exploring or path we missed? Okay. Okay, let's go this way. There might be something of interest in this room, right? Poison attacks twice. Nice. I still wish you could, um, grind for money and buy some additional items. I don't know, I just like having the upper hand in fights if I can have it. I suppose you can't argue this race is a difficulty, though. <sighs> well, that can have its downsides, considering we managed to miss a weapon. That probably would have helped earlier. And there's not even really an inn in this town, apparently, which is even more messed up. Hopefully at some point we'll find something like that, but I'm going to stop here for now. Next time I guess we'll head back into the caves and try and clear out the monsters in order to make it to the next area. Till then, see ya.